All right, this is a video response to Chris Blue 007's contest. Uh, first of all, congratulations on your uh, 900, 900 subscribers. That's awesome. Um, you're gonna be up to a thousand pretty soon, uh, which is that's that's pretty insane. That's great stuff. Um, you actually you sent me a um, uh, a message on the inbox. And I realized I didn't send you anything back. I know I, I, I subbed, but I don't think I sent you anything back. So I'm am sorry that was kind of a, a jerk move anyway. Um, but with the contest, the worst movie in my collection. Uh, this is a little difficult for me, not because um, I never owned any bad movies, but I've actually swapped out a good chunk of my D pretty much all of my DVDs for Blu-rays. So all the probably really bad DVDs that I used to own, they're all gone. I only have Blu-rays now, and I've been pretty, you know, I've made mistakes with Blu-rays. As anyone that, if you've, you've seen my 2001 video, I'm not really happy with that movie. It looks great, but like, you know, uh, I don't know why, why I own that movie. I don't really like it. Um... And that got me to thinking about what the choice was going to be. And uh, got me to thinking of how, you know, I'd, I've been buying all these Blu-rays and um, how I should think a little bit harder when I do because, you know, I almost make it a pact with myself that if I buy a movie, I have to watch it when I get it that night because if I leave it going, it might just collect dust and then it's not, how is that worth any money? Uh, but anyway, my choice is not a Blu-ray, it's one of the DVDs I have left. It's a film from 1997, I believe. 97 or 98. It's uh, Meet Joe Black, directed by Martin Brest, uh, with Brad Pitt as um, Death, who comes to take Anthony Hopkins away. Um, but he wants to stick around a couple of times. It's based off uh, Death Takes a Holiday. And he wants to stick around a couple of days and learn the ways of, you know, people. Not a great premise, but anyway, he um, then he falls in love with Hopkins' daughter, played by Claire uh, Claire Florani. This is the thing. This movie maybe has about six or seven just great scenes in it. Pretty much anything with Anthony, Hop Anthony Hopkins in the movie is great. It has great scenes in it. Like I said, six or seven. The movie is three hours. I bought this. After I watched it, after I rented it, I'm pretty sure on VHS, I rented it on VHS, and it was two, like, tapes. Um, so I watched it. I bought it. I have absolutely no idea if I ever put it in my DVD player. I think, I mean, I, I opened it, so I think I must have. But I guarantee if I did, I probably didn't watch the whole movie. Um... It's just, there's some, I don't know if you've seen it, but there's some really, like, long-winded stuff in it. There's plot lines that just are completely unnecessary. It's three hours! Why does this have to be three hours? It makes no sense. But, anyway, um, the point is, for why this is the worst, is I didn't get rid of it. I got rid of all my other ones, and I didn't. And because I thought to myself, no, I like that movie. I like six or seven scenes in it. I don't like it. It's on when it's on TV. On uh, there's a channel called USA Channel and there's a Universal Channel. It's on often, not often enough, but often. Uh, so I've seen it in HD now, and it looks good. And it looks fine. It's not a particularly great visual movie. It looks good though. The Blu-ray is coming out in May. I just found out, and I'm probably gonna buy it. I know it. And guess what that one's gonna do? So. That's why this gets the worst one, because I paid for it once years ago, haven't watched it, or I don't think I've watched it, which is even worse, and I'm probably going to buy it again in May. I'm probably going to spend like 20 bucks. And I'll force myself to sit through these three hours, and I, I guarantee you I won't even do that. I'll probably just put it on, skip around to a couple of scenes, shut it off, it'll go on the shelf, and that'll be it. So... That is why this is my choice for the worst film in my collection. A film that, I mean, it, it comes down to it, it's just, it's, it's too long. You can't sit through this. Alright, well, I, uh, 
I hope you at least like what I had to say. If uh, contest and no contest, I hope you found found this entertaining. Um, thanks a lot, man. Um, congratulations again on your subscribers, and I uh, hope you have many more. All right, this is Patrick Fuzzy Motion. Take care.